So I'm continuing with the tutorials and we are going into the advanced Tired tutorials. Adaptive steering. Now, here's a little thing that many pilots don't use, but if you do end up liking it, you'll really appreciate it. Depending on how you've set up your flight controls, you might only have convenient control over two steering axes rather than all three. This is fine for most pilots. However, with many ship configurations, rolling is much more effective than yawing or vice versa. This is where adaptive steering can help. This sounds complicated. When turned on, the primary steering axis will be set to whichever one is best for your current ship configuration. I've turned on adaptive steering and changed the thruster configuration of your ship to favor rollover yaw. Fly around a little to get a feel oh no, for it. Oh no, but it's changed my I yaw. No, I don't want to change. Please I look. Fly close to each of the I don't want to change the turn. joystick configuration. The next target will always I always want orange. I always want my joystick to have the same thing for roll and yaw. I don't want it to change. Skip this tutorial? Okay, uh, I'm skipping this tutorial. So, I've been advised that with a 3-axis joystick, I should just skip the tutorial, so I am doing it. Today, we'll cover one of my most advanced lessons, designing and building stations. Open the map. This is to tough. To begin with, you need a plot of space. Open the highlighted menu. Okay, hi okay that one. Manage plots. Here, you can manage your plots. Or buy new ones, as we will do now. Create a new plot now. You can leave the size as it is. Oh, it's the sort of like city skylines. Here are your actual plot, and the buffer distance it needs to have between it and other stations, gates, and highways. You will also notice a price being displayed. It changes as you move the plot around. Not only are certain sectors more expensive than others, the price also goes up if gates, highways, or stations are nearby. Oh ho! Place the plot in a remote but cheap location for now. <laughs> remote but cheap. I've got 10 million credits, I could really go whole hog on it though. But okay, this is 64,000 over here. We, could, we can't go outside this area. There's a gate right there, right? I mean, putting it right here shouldn't be too bad. Right in between the wharf and that, probably. Seems like a good location. Now buy the license for this plot. Okay. You can build a station without paying for the plot, but that is sure to anger whoever owns the sector. Now select continue to get to the next step. The left side lists all the types of station modules. Production modules are open by default. Let's start with a dock, though. Open the highlighted menu. You have access to two modules right now, a pier for capital ships and a dock module for smaller ships. There are many more options, but you need to acquire their blueprints first. Hmm, not blueprints. Select the pier. Okay. You'll notice its color sometimes changing between green and red. If it's red, then it's not in a valid location. It may be outside of the plot, intersect with another module, or be in an exclusion zone. We will learn about those in a moment. Place this module anywhere inside the plot. A so-called transform gizmo has appeared. We know our transform gizmos. You can grab and drag any of the arrows to move the module along that axis. Do so now. Doing the same to one of the circles will rotate the module. Uh, but yeah, I know. Do so now. I don't want to rotate it. <laughs> Rotation is always going to be iffy. Whoa, ah, okay. Lighting is weird. Okay. You can reset a module's rotation by interacting with it. Do so now. Okay, what do you mean? Reset rotation. Okay. okay, now select the other dog module. As you move it around, you will notice that it can snap to the already placed pier. You may also notice that you can't place it in the marked area in front of the pier. That is the so-called exclusion zone. 
needs to be free of other modules so that ships can dock. Place the dock module now. Let's place a few more modules to make this a fully operational station. First, take a look at the other module section. Other modules? There are a number of cheap connection modules that you can use to make your station look nice. You don't have to use them, but feel free to do so during this lesson. Now, select a production module and place it. Energy cells. Whoa! They take a lot of space. Um, that's gonna... Uh, is there any way I can do this to... Without it poking out of every thing? Oh, okay. Well, the solar panels went away. Okay, solar panels. Um. All production modules turn certain resources oh, into yep, a that. product. There. Except for this one, which stores solar power no, no, in energy there. cells. Its output depends on the sector. Fine. Your encyclopedia has the info you need. There are also build modules which work very similarly, but their products are ships and equipment. Next, we'll absolutely need a storage module. I hope ships can still get into that thing. Storage module. There are modules for the different types of storage. That's gonna poke we out. Only need container storage I wish QE so and WAS and D could rotate them in a snap method. Um... Okay, how do I... Uh, I'm, I'm using this one, why can't I... Now, no. place a habitation okay. module. No, not yet. No, there's a tutorial, but we're still doing the... No, that rotation was not what I wanted to do. Without it, you won't have room for a workforce. While productions can run automatically, actual workers increase their efficiency a lot. You do need to keep them supplied with food and medicine, though. By the way, if you're struggling to attract people to your station, a welfare module can go a long way to help. Finally, place a defense module. Not on top. Probably fine. It doesn't automatically come with any turrets, so that's let's a little bit awkward now. because that's on the docking Interact side. With the defense module and select edit loadout. Maybe we should put it at the bottom of the. Habitat module. Uh, right click and edit loadout. Oh gosh. Looks exactly like loadouts for ships. Add at least one turret and confirm the changes. You said at least. I, I want more turrets. <laughs> there, let's have some turrets. There we go. Eight turrets. Satisfied, you can confirm your changes with a highlighted button. Okay, but that looks like it's gonna cost a lot. Now, we need to hire a builder ship. Okay, assign or hire a builder. The map is now in a special mode that focuses on these builder ships. The one next to the other station is currently busy, but you can select the other one by interacting with it. Do so now. Okay, select. Next, you need to make sure that the required resources will be delivered to this station's build storage. If you expand this item, you can see exactly what is needed. And if you expand this one, you can allocate funds for trade offers. These will be seen by traders who will then sell them to your station. Okay. Of course, you can also deliver everything yourself. But for now, simply accept the estimate and close this menu. Three million. The builder ship will now move to your station and use the delivered resources and its welder drones to construct it according to your plan. You can move or remove fully built modules as well. Oh, it cut, it, it cut itself off. Okay, well that's important because where I am at at the in the Terran start, where I'm gonna be continuing from, I they for some reason have given me a station and but I have to build it. 
Well, they gave me an asteroid and I'm building a station at it. So I have to deliver all the resources and all that business. So you've successfully built a station. Now let's make it operate properly. This doesn't look like the one I've made. You need a man. <laughs> Dock at the nearby station and hire someone. I do wonder if reshade or some lighting thing might make things more atmospheric. Oh. Um, is this part of the plan? I don't remember being told about this. Why, why would we be stopping a drone? There's a lot of ships right there. Okay, I guess... Docking granted. Oh, thank you. Successfully docked. Was, was I supposed to come here? Welcome. Okay. I feel like if I'm gonna find the manager, I'm gonna have to get up. Quasar, Vanguard. Or I'm supposed to find people, right? No, it's looping me back to my ship. Fine. Okay, interesting. Um, it's showing a location over there, so. Shift is apparently not to run. Thought it was. Okay, crew woman. Hello. Higher, I guess. Now, interact with your new station and select the manager role. Uh, whoa, that's blocking the way. But manager. It'll be a pleasure working with you. Your new hire will now travel to the station and start working. Almost every production module turns... You know, this reminds me of another product. game. Solar power being one exception. Your one requires silicon and energy cells and produces silicon wafers. Open the map. Select the mining ship and assign it to mine for the station. Oh yeah, Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord is what it's reminding me of. Assign the mining ship. There's a courier. Which one's the mining ship? To your station. Left click on the... I guess this one is the mining ship. It says mineral. Order. Hmm. Egosoft would like that to one needs a captain. Their product. <laughs> Orders. Hold on, hold on. I'm not sure this is the mining ship. Usually it would highlight the thing in yellow, the thing that I'm supposed to do. So I'm not sure. Dock at my current location? I don't think is what I wanted to do. Collect deployables? I don't think is what I'm supposed to tell it to do. It doesn't have a assigned to station. I think dealing with the other things I was dealing with, I miss what I was exactly supposed to do here. So left click and then right click on that. Okay, it is uh, ordering this. Assign. Mine for commander. 
I don't know what that means, but I need to say dock and wait. No? Give it an order. I mean, it's vague. Give it an order to the selected object. I guess I did. I said dock and wait. That's technically giving it an order to the selected object. But it's obviously not happy with that. Right now it says assign subordinate down there. And I'm like... Okay. Let me... We'll... we'll, we'll s I'll start over. Let me give it one more try. War of, the, War of the Worlds musical. I didn't even know there was a War of the Worlds musical. So, you've successfully built a station. Now, let's make it operate properly. First off, you need a manager. Dock at the nearby station and hire someone. Is it gonna have to chase that drone people again? Sort of. Oh, it's got that thing. Okay, which direction is it wrong in? <laughs> uh, okay, there we go. Successfully docked. That's funny, they just have the test pattern there. Hello. <laughs> now, interact with your new station and select the manager role. Uh, right click. So, um, selected role. Oh, like there. Uh, Thanks for hiring me. I really appreciate it. Your new hire will now travel to the station and start working. Almost every production module turns one or more resources into a product. Solar power being one exception. Your one requires silicon and energy cells and produces silicon wafers. Open the map. Select the mining ship and assign it to mine for the station. I, I guess left clicked it. Right click, but that one doesn't say assign to mine for a station. Maybe I should just click on it and yeah, I, I don't see anything to mine for commander, I guess. So maybe that's what it is. Okay, this is mine for commander things. Like energy cells, as well as I don't know what alpha points. means, but whatever. So assign the two transport ships to trade for the station. Okay, we've got two transport ships, fine. And... I click trade for commander. Beta, I guess. Okay, fine. You, that one, trade for commander. Oh. Beta as well. The station manager is now taking care of orders for these ships. How well they do depends on the skill of the manager or the ship's pilot, whichever is better. The miner will start to work straight away. But the traders can't. Your station has no budget to buy resources. Open its info menu. Uh, okay. Security would like to remind all visitors to keep Those announcements are irritating. Now put some money into the station account by moving the slider. You can also simply accept the manager's estimate. No, uh, no I'm not going to accept the estimate. No. Um... Here. Get that much. The manager is now going to use that budget to buy resources. Profits from selling products also go into this account. As soon as the manager exceeds the limit by a certain margin, any excess funds will automatically be transferred to your account. Now, interact with the station and open the logical overview. It's the logical over okay, that's the logical overview. Here you can see a diagram of the station's production line, among other things. To the left, you can see the various resource wares in the station storage. Next to that are the productions. This station only has one, but you can add many different ones. The rightmost column shows the end products currently in storage. 
There are many things that you can control from this menu. Select any of the wares. Oh you God, there's more things. Automatic settings or assign a trade rule specific to this wear. Select the silicon wafers production. Oh. Mm. Oh, this one. It shows you a lot of detailed info, and you can pause the production from here. You can also use this menu to set some wares to be traded without having a production module that needs or produces them. Try to add helium as a trade wear. Add helium as a trade wear. Select trade wares. Helium. Um. It shows a warning symbol. If you open the details, you can see what it's about. In this case, the problem is that your station doesn't have the we right We have to have special storage. storage for helium. You can remove it by deselecting it in the Select Trade Wears menu. You've probably been wondering about the workforce production. So let's open that now. I don't want to worry about the workforce production. Uh, okay, this one. Each production module works better when it has people working in it. The optimal amount depends on the type of production. Workers require food and medicine, even when they're not working. Keep them consistently supplied with these, or they're gonna leave. At the bottom, you can see how the workforce I'm is not gonna have to workforce. <laughs> this is gonna be automated, completely automated. Mainly Automation. Mainly sector population. Plenty of living space and a well-maintained station helps as well. You can also build certain welfare modules to attract workers more quickly. Open the drones menu now. Is a drones menu? Oh. Here you can set target amounts for certain types of drones. The manager will then create buy offers for drone components and manufacture them once these arrive. While most traders carry cargo drones of their own, giving the station a few as well can speed up trades with capital ships. And I don't need to tell you why defense and repair drones might be useful, right? And those are the foundations of station management. Uh... Here you can looking around. <laughs> Simply close the map to complete this tutorial. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. But now we go back to the Terran start. So, at long last, I, I, have, I declare the tutorials complete. Technically, there's one little thing there, but that's a combat scenario and it's special, so I'll leave that be.